do you do for fun? Even better, where do you go for fun? I checked out the coolest picture book from the library. It's about the seven natural wonders of the world. These are really cool places or things in the real world that are so amazing that they fill people with wonder. The first one in the book is called the Northern Lights or the Aerobor and Alice? No, no, that's not it. The Error of Border Dallas? No, the, the Sarah Borellis? No, no! Aurora Borealis? That's it! The Northern Lights! They are these amazing, mysterious, and wonderful lights that appear in the sky in certain parts of the world. Look! My mom helped me read the book. It said that people can see the Northern Lights in places like Alaska, Norway, or Sweden. People visit these places to see how big and awesome and wonderful the Northern Lights are. Those places are super far away, but maybe if we imagine hard enough, we can go there together. You want to try? Okay, close your eyes. Now, think of the Northern Lights. Think a roar of boring salads. Think Alaska or Norway or Sweden. Now open your eyes. Wow! We're there! I think we imagined our way to Alaska. It's dark outside. I see the stars. But where are the northern lights? Wait! I remember! My mom read that the northern lights aren't always there. They only appear every once in a while. Wow! I really hoped we would see them. I mean, we imagined our way here just to see them. But we didn't! Can you imagine people actually traveling to these faraway places, hoping to see the northern lights, and then not seeing them? How would that make you feel? Have you ever put your hope in something, or really wanted something to happen, but it didn't? Wouldn't it be great to be able to put our hopes in something or someone and never be let down? Let's check out our Bible story for the day. It's time for today's Bible story from the book of Psalms, chapter 33. A psalm is like a song or a prayer that we give to God for many reasons. We do this as a way of worshiping God. Worship is doing something to show God how great and powerful we believe that God is. Psalm 33 shows us that one way to worship is to put our hope in God. Verse 4 says, for the word of the Lord is right and true. That means that whatever God says, God does. So if we put our hope in God, we'll never ever be let down. We know this because it says in verse 11 that other people might let us down, but the plans of the Lord stand firm forever. The songwriter then gives examples of rulers and kings who did not put their hope in God, but other things like a king who built up a great army and put their hope in weapons and horses or a mighty warrior who put all their hope in their own strength. See, their plans never worked out, and the hope in these things failed. But verse 17 says that a horse is a vain hope for deliverance. It means that you can't depend on it, but God's plan for us and for everyone will always work out and the hope we have in God will never fail us. That's why we wait in hope for the Lord. He is our help and our strength and our shield. God becomes like a shield that protects us from anything that might come our way. And behind that shield, we can dance and celebrate because we know that we're safe. In fact, dancing and celebrating are ways that we can worship God or show God how great and powerful we believe that he is. There are many ways to worship, but one is by putting our hope in God. So remember, we can worship by putting our hope in God. Wow! That Bible story really helped! There is something we can put our hope in and never be let down. God and God's plan for us. I put my hope in seeing the northern lights and it didn't go as planned. But when I put my hope in God, 
It always goes the way God plans. Knowing that really makes me want to worship God. That means showing how great and powerful God is. We have only one God, but there are many ways to worship. We can sing a song or say a prayer before we go to sleep. Ooh. God is listening to us from the moment we awake. God, I just want to say that I think you're really great. God, you are wonderful, so full of wonder. God, you are wonderful, so full of wonder. So full of wonder. So full of wonder. God, you are wonderful. I also remembered something else during the Bible story. We imagined our way here to Alaska, so we can probably imagine the northern lights into the sky. Let's try it. Close your eyes and think of the northern lights. Northern lights! Whoa! There they are! They are wonderful! But still not as wonderful as God. The northern lights will come and go, but God doesn't. We can worship by putting our hope in God. It was awesome learning and growing with you. I think I'm gonna practice another way of worshiping that we learned about today and dance under the northern lights. You wanna join me? See you next time.